Hello and welcome to Indie Play, and this time we're playing obviously Ben There Dan That, which is an interesting adventure game to say the least. First thing you will notice the graphics. The graphics look quite terrible. To be fair, they are terrible, but graphics aren't the main thing about this game it's uh, how to say it it's not the <laughs> it's not the thing you should look at when you're playing this game the thing you should look at when you're playing this game is the story well I had to use a lot of objects with a, with a lot of other objects but I finally managed to get that whistle bang firework off the blind monkey We'll have you across that canyon and alive again in no time, Dan, old buddy. So, alright, here's the music, here's the terrible graphics, but as I said, don't look at the graphics. Well, you kinda have to look at the graphics, but what I mean to say, you have to go past. You have to look past the terrible graphics. And I'm not saying, like, oh, Battlefield 3. I only like Battlefield 3 good graphics. I'm just saying in general. Even in general game in an indie game. For an indie game, this is our, this is pretty bad. I'm not sure if that's intentional intentional or not, but there it is. So I got a lighter or something. Yeah, I don't wanna I can't help but feel that this isn't the right time to start manhandling my best friend. What with him being dead and all. Yeah, maybe later. What's more, we're pushing. Mare pushing him won't give enough momentum to carry him safely across the canyon. He'd be left dangling in the middle. Okay. So, yes, there are many jokes like this, and that's why this game is awesome. First thing first, I did play this game a little bit, so I saw the jokes, I know what to do, but I only played it a little bit, and that, when I was done I thought, yeah, I need to record this indie play of the game. So let's kick him, oh wait, no, 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 let's not kick him, and that's not the kick function, that's the walk function. Let's light, him, light this thing on fire. Alright buddy, here we go! I'm not a good voice actor as you may see. Once you hit Doc Oddbolt's shack, the corpse reanimation equipment will kick in and you'll be back to your good old living self in no time. In theory at least. Boink. Well, that went well. And uh, credits, I guess. This game is lacking some music, at least in this part. London! Hey, I live a while from London. Present day. Present. Oh, lights went on. So they live in that house with the lights. Ah, oh, it is great to be alive and back home again. Thanks for shoving that firework up my arse, Ben. Absolute pleasure, mate. So what are you doing going to do with this wonderful blessing we can call life? Well, Magnum Pi is on. Ah, oh, I'm afraid to tell you he's not working. What? Yeah, I broke the aerial making uh, a disguise to infiltrate Dr. Retro a uh, go-go secret disco robot lair, lair and, and rescue your corpse. Sorry. Well, I'm certainly not going to do anything interesting or entertaining at least until we've found an aerial and got the telly working. <sighs> I can't really say sigh. I hear a dog. Why is there a dog? 
Why is there a Sam and Max painting there? I never played Sam and Max, but I know it's Sam and Max. I think. Let's examine that. It's Max and Sam poster covering the window. It's, it's Sam and Max, I think. I enjoy the cheesy retro ambience. Also, it means we won't have to look at all the vicious stabbings going on outside. <laughs> I don't collect heart, and I also don't collect whatever that is. That looks like Superman. Kinda. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, maybe. What a man. Uh, tell me. It's our television. Daryl is completely knackered. We're simply going to have to fashion a new one out of the bits and pieces of crap we got lying around our flat. Right, let's see. Our sofa, it has an impression of my face on it. Huh. That's our ass groove. <laughs> yep. Door. It's a hole in the wall framed by wood. We use it to leave the room for beers and wheeze. Ah. Take a look at that note on the door. There's the note stuck to the wall with extra sticky blue tack. It reads, Dear Ben, Leonard about to show up. Gone to pub. Love, Dad. When did you write this? Oh, weeks ago, before the jungle. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, nothing else to see here, I think. Um, that door leads to the outside world. We don't go out there unless it's strictly necessary. Uh, yeah, let's select something. That note, for example. There's no way I'm going outside at a time like this. We've got a TV to fix. Pronto! I want to take that note though. I can't see that helping to get the telly fixed. I'll leave it where it is. What about the extra sticky blue tack on the back? That might prove useful. Stop questioning my authority. Qu whistling. Uh, we leave the note and the sticky sticky blue tack right here, okay? It's not going to help me help make an arrow, is it? No, but we might be able to use it with something else. You know, later on. Oh, I see. So I'm supposed to just start carting junk around with me all day. On the off chance we need it for something later. Um, yeah. Well, in the unlikely event that that happens, I shall make a mental note on the blue tag being here and simply return to collect it should the unthinkable happen and we find ourselves blue tag class in a blue tag, blue tag crisis situation, okay? Yay. Yay, thanks pal. Uh, I'm not talking to... <laughs> I'm not taking that down, it's covering a creepy stain in the shape of Jar Jar Binks. Let's see Sam and Max. Oh, alien? Huh. We can use him, I think. He noticed me, I think. Wait, alien. Come back. Did you see that? Uh, the, the chaps are getting weirder out there. No wonder we covered up the window. What am I supposed to do with the painting? I'll just leave it there. I opened the window. The window is already open. I can't interact with it anymore. Fine. I'm not touching that, it's totally covered in crud. Uh, what can I touch? It's already switched on. The tele itself was working fine, it's the arrow that needs replacing. Urgently! You're right, I should stop describing the television malfunction and instead concentrate my efforts on constructing a new makeshift area. Thanks for the advice, pal. Literally, actually, com <laughs> literally, literally, actually, completely and utterly no problem. <laughs> this is no time for sitting. We got a broken telly and an uh, impending episode of Ma Magnum Power. 
Too, too true, <laughs> jump, too true. I don't know what to do. Um, let's throw that painting outside the window, okay? I'm not throwing anything out through an open window. I might need it later. Ah, so now you might need it later. Can I set it on fire? I'm not setting fire all to Sam and Max poster. Uh, how about this? I don't really want to use that the poster. How about this? None of this rot will do anything with that. How about this nail? That won't help fix the telly, so I'm not going to waste time doing that, okay? This door has a handle. If I wanted to leave, I could use that. But we need to get this telly sorted. I'm going nowhere. Alright, let's think. Let's think. What could we use as an aerial? Uh, why is there a dog outside? I'm not throwing anything. I might need it later. How about. I'm not setting fire on our lovely, lovely sofa. Where would we put our ample bottoms when watching telly? Actually, yeah, let's, let's just walk over there. If we can. Maybe. Oh, we can. Oh, what the. F I can't pick that up. Then tell me, what the fuck is that? Is that a dead. dead. Some, a death of an adventure game. It was like. that. It was like that when we got here. Okay, so. There's a message adventure games are dead, apparently. Let's go to Dan. Books, books. Do we need anything? Let's see, what do we have in this drawer? What the hell happened to all my clothes? Hmm. Oh, I sold them on eBay so I could buy the Tremors films on DVD. Besides, I swear you only ever wore that one damn jacket. True enough. Let's take this, because I know I can use that as an arrow. Let's just leave it there, alright? I haven't got time to mess around closing doors. I've got makeshift aerial to construct. Right. I'm not interested in picking up the Bible at this point, thank you. I'm not picking that up, it looks rubbish. I'm not touching that, but it's all clean and that. We're not playing Giblich, it's visually poor. <laughs> oh god. Can it you? <laughs> Uh, they're making jokes about themselves. Fancy a quick game of gribbage? Mmm, nah. Can't be bothered. Fair enough. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go to Ben's room. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not going into your room. No way, it's nasty in there. What's wrong with my room? There's. The wall loose brown muck and there's something squelchy living under your carpet. Yeah. So? What's wrong with my room exactly? Oh nothing, come on, let's get this over with. We run a very real risk of missing Magnum PI at this rate. God, <laughs> God zooks. Uh Skateboard. Nah, I tried it once and I fell off. Then why do you still have it? Wow, you're exactly like Marty McFly. Exactly. Why is... Uh, the room is so dirty. Hey, it's my art and craft material. Oh, I could use that. I thought I'd be... I thought I'd been sleeping funny. Let's take that. I don't need to cut anything right now, I think. Fuck. Select. Bowling ball. I don't even know how I got that thing all the way up there, let alone how to get it down. Why are you. Why are your shelves so high anyway? Beats me. Maybe the previous tenants were a race of giants. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be it. Giants. No, I don't want to keep. I don't keep my money in there or anything. That'd be ridiculous. Uh, I read them all before. 
tissues. No comment about that. Uh, I've read enough books for one lifetime. Video games are words I've not read right now, Brenda. Okay, that was a mistake. Let's get out of here. And let's go to the toilet. Maybe we'll find any something something or anything there. This toilet there's no way I'm flipping that switch. The wiring is all dicky. Only a complete idiot would touch that. Uh, okay. Can we there is no way I'm touching that thing. These days, I just prefer all my absolutions out the bedroom window. <laughs> Around here, nobody even notices. Yeah, because it's London. I'm sure there's a more conventional method uh, for turning lights on and off than reaching up and grabbing at them. Now, what was I... Um, yeah, let's get out of here. Let's go to the lounge. Lounge. I guess it's the right word. Brandon's pronunciation of that word. Anyways, let's use this with this. That doesn't need to be cut up. Huh. How about glue? Covering it with glue would make it less useful as an arrow, if anything. <sighs> Select. So I get a painting and I get a hanger and I have some matches. That doesn't need to be hang up. Um, okay. That go hanger will certainly pick up the signal, but not from all the way back here. Maybe we should stick it out the window. Okay. I'm not throwing anything out in the open window. I might need it later. So let's apply glue here. What do you want me to do then? Huh? Shut up! Stop! No! Don't want to do that. Um. It's physically impossible. <laughs> uh, none of this road will do anything. Um, this scissors won't pick up strong enough signal. That won't help fix the tally. I'm not going to waste time doing it, okay? Okay, so uh, yeah, I wasted enough time on this game, so I think you get the point of this game. Get it, play it. If you like jokes, if you like humor, play it. If you don't, what the fuck are you doing here? It's well, I guess it's not like I make jokes all the time, but anyways, this game is not for you if you don't like humor, a humor like that. They are talking and I'm not even paying attention. Anyway, I want to say, try this game if you s like the humor, the story behind it. Yeah, do it basically. So, yeah, thanks for watching this episode of Indie Play. Not episode, or actually, yeah, I guess episode. Uh, this is Bender, done that, Dan, that. Uh, and I'm Herbison. I'll see you next time, I hope. So, anyways, good.